Sub recipes or semi prepared items are typically produced in large quantities, stored, and then used in a recipe made to order. For example, barbecue sauce or salad dressing. Add your sub recipes in Sapad with just a few simple clicks. Let's start. Click the menu and choose Setup. Select Inventory Setup and click Ingredients and Sub Recipes. Click Add Ingredient. You'll notice that the ingredient type selected by default is Ingredient. Change the selection to Sub Recipe. Enter the name, category, and measurement unit of the sub recipe. In this case, let's put Parsley Salad Dressing. Remember that the measurement unit selected in Sub Recipes should be the same unit in your recipes. Under the Sub Recipe Ingredients section, Type in the first ingredient used in the sub-recipe in the search field and hit Enter. Enter the quantity of the ingredient used. Repeat the steps for all ingredients used in this sub-recipe. The yield is the total output of the sub-recipe using your ingredients. Enter the opening balance of the sub-recipe. This is your current stock on hand. Enter the reorder level. In Sapad, you can set the quantity at which your sub-recipe is considered low on stock. You can do a batch production of your sub-recipe so your stock is always up to date. Next, make sure that the Track Inventory checkbox is selected to ensure that the inventory for this sub-recipe is tracked at your location. Finally, click Save. Once done, you can find your new sub-recipe on Ingredients and Sub-Recipes. And there you have it. Just remember these three simple steps. First, enter the sub-recipe. Second, add the ingredients of the sub-recipe. Lastly, enter the opening balance and reorder level of the sub-recipe. Want to learn more? Click on the link below to book a demo.